Okay, in this video I'm just going to introduce multiplying fractions. Here's page one and here's page two, these examples here. Okay, so we'll just start with um, the word of. If somebody said, give me three of those $20 bills, how much money is that? Let's focus on this. Three of those $20 bills, how much money? sixty dollars right isn't that sixty dollars three of those twenty dollar bills okay and one way to write that is just for fun if you write this three of and in, in, in instead of of we can write multiply by the way this is a multiplication dot okay three multiplied by you know twenty dollars that's another way of saying three of those so funny enough this English sentence translates to a math sentence with the word of being replaced by a multiplication uh, dot, okay? And, um, and and that's a fact, actually. Of means multiply. So that, that of course, equals, uh, you know, $60, right? Um, how about if somebody says, I want five of those apples, okay? What do they mean by that? How many apples did they want? Five apples, right? Or just, just for fun, we're just going to write it this way, five and change of to multiply times um, apple, right? A, how about that? A represents apple. And of course that can be just written 5A or 5 apples. So just for fun, I've just changed the word of to multiply. Just to show you that, that of actually uh, does mean multiply a lot of the time. So of means, the word of means multiply. That just helps us to understand multiplying fractions. And this will come up in, in, in other parts of math too, where of means multiply. Okay. So can you write down the answer to this if somebody said, uh, give me a half of ten. Half of ten dollars. What would a half of ten dollars be? <coughs> would it be five? Right? Okay. So you agree that a half of ten is five. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that into a math sentence and I'm going to go one half and instead of of I'm going to write multiply, see that? Instead of of I'm going to write multiply and then I'm going to write 10 and 10 written as a fraction is what? It's 10 over 10 over 1. 10 is the same thing as 10 over 1, right? So a half of 10 can be written one half multiplied by ten over one. Does that make sense? Right? And to multiply fractions, the rule is you simply multiply the tops one times ten over and then you multiply the bottoms two times one. And that gives you ten over two, which is ten divided by two, five, right? So basically, we've proven that well, the only what I've told you the the only thing I've kind of told you uh, to remember is that when you multiply fractions, you multiply the tops, then you multiply the bottoms. Okay, so you go from here to here. So that's the the rule I want you to get from here to here. You just multiply the tops, then multiply the bottoms, and then figure it out. So um, that's the rule for multiplying fractions. So let's do another one of these. If you were if somebody asked you for two thirds of twelve. Could you please give me two thirds of twelve dollars? How much money is that? Now, first thing to think of would probably be what is one third of twelve dollars, right? Okay. I guess if you even want to write out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve one dollar bills. Okay. If I split it into three. You might find that three fours is twelve, right? So you get uh, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. See that? So one third of twelve would be four dollars, but two thirds. See, this is one third, this is one third, this is one third. Two thirds is eight, right? So two thirds of twelve is definitely eight, isn't it? Okay. Now. Um, 
I'm going to write that as a math sentence, so I'm going to go two thirds, and in place of of, I'm going to put multiply, and I'm going to write 12 as a fraction. How do you write 12 as a fraction? 12 over 1, right? 12 divided by 1 is 12, right? And the rule for multiplying fractions is you multiply the tops, 2 times 12, and then you multiply the bottoms, 3 times 1, and then you get the answer. Okay, so 2 times 12 gives 24, 3 times 1 gives 3, and 24 divided by 3 is 8, right? So the rule is multiply the tops, then multiply the bottoms. Okay, so, so the rule is multiply the tops, or the numerators, then multiply the bottoms multiply bottoms and then of course I'm sure you'll you'll know that you need to simplify things afterwards. Okay, so you multiply the tops, then you multiply the bottoms. That's basically the rule. Okay. Okay, so let's go to page two and see if you can do this one. Two thirds times five sevenths. And by all means press pause and do all of these examples and then just check to see if you get the right answer on the video, right? I'm gonna go slow so everybody gets a chance to uh, learn, right? So 2 thirds times 5 sevenths is, in fact, I can just multiply the tops. 2 times 5 over 3 times 7, and that gives 10 over 21. And of course, I don't have any common factors anywhere, so nothing cross cancels. So that's just in lowest terms already, 10 over 21, right? And that's the answer. How about one third and so one third times three eighths? And so you can see there's two ways of of multiplying. You can use a multiplication dot, and you can use the parentheses. Of course, you can also use the uh, times x symbol. Only this isn't used much because in algebra we actually use x for a letter for a variable. Okay, so in algebra they prefer the multiplication dot and the parentheses. So I hope you get used to this. And this last is a good one to practice that in. So we get this times this, we have 1 times 3, multiply the tops over 3 times 8, multiply the bottoms, okay? And that gives me 3 over uh, 24. Now hold on a second, there's gotta be, this has uh, got to be put in lowest terms, right? So what would you do? 3 and 3 goes once, and 3 into 24 goes. 8 times, of course. So that gives you 1 over 8. Hmm. That kind of suggests that we should have been smart at the beginning and went, we could have cross cancelled the 3's here, right? Or we could have cross cancelled the 3's here. 3 and 3 goes once, 3 and 3 goes once. And then I'll have 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. And that kind of speeds things up. So you can do it that way if you like. Anyway. Let's try, see if we can do this one. Press pause and do this one. One half times one seven times one fifth. Well, I can just multiply all the tops. I can go, you know, one times one times one, and then multiply all the bottoms. Two times seven times five. And what does that give? Well, on the top, that should be one, right? On the bottom, two times seven is fourteen. What's five times fourteen? ends up being 70, right? So 1 70th, 1 over 70. And this one, <coughs> 4 thirds times 2 fifths times 2 over 4, we can just go 4 times 2 times 2 over 3 times 5 times 4, and what do you get? Let's see, 8, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and on the bottom, 3 times 5, 15, 15 times 4, 60, right? And then you can put it in lowest terms. Okay, so let's put this guy in lowest terms. Of course, we could go um, 2 into the top and bottom, or I guess actually 4 would work, wouldn't it? 4 into 16 goes 4 times, 4 into 60, well, could just go 4 into 6, is twice, no, sorry, uh, silly me, once, of course. Uh, 26 goes uh, once. 
the remainder 2, and then 4 into 20, 5 times, right? So 4 fifteenths. Of course, you might have spotted a quicker way, which was back here. You could have cross cancelled the fours, right? Or even back here, you could have cross cancelled the fours. Now, if you had it done that way, you would get, uh, and you can't cross cancel anything else, three and two, five and two, you know. So you get one times two times two, which is four, over three times five times one, which is 15. So that's a quick way of doing it. Um, so let's uh, see if you can figure this one out. Three quarters times twelve. Can you do that one by yourself? Press pause and try it, and then I'll do it. Okay. So how about um, turn the uh, so we'll go okay three quarters and turn the twelve into twelve over one. How about that? Right. So twelve can be written as a fraction twelve over one, and then look four goes into twelve, doesn't it? Or I mean, I'll just keep going, if you want to do it this way, 3 times 12, 36, over 4 times 1 is 4. And what's 36 over 4? That of course is 9, right? But of course, once again, we could have went 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 12 goes um, 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, 1 times 1 is 1, so 9 over 1 is just 9, right? So that's another way of doing it.